Hippo, 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 hippo. Hello, hello. It's Monday morning. Well, uh, hopefully soon you'll get this in the mail if you haven't gotten it yet. But you're probably wondering what is that? Well, Daddy drew some rocks. Because I thought rocks would be fun. Well, anyways, the Bible does talk about rocks a lot. Um, for example, David killed Goliath with... Well, if you said five stones, he did pick up five stones, but he killed Goliath with one. Um, many of the altars that the Israelites uh, built in worship to God were made out of rocks. Um, also, when Jesus talked about the house uh, on the sand and compared it with the house on the rocks, um, Jesus was talking about a strong foundation. Actually, the Bible verse today says, They are like a man building a house who dug deep and laid a foundation on rock. When the storms came, the storm struck that house, but it could not shake it because it was well built. The idea of the rock is, again, like last time, it is like the gospel. And if we build our house on the love of Jesus and what he has done for us on the cross, then nothing can shake it. See, there are many stories in the book of John where Jesus tells his disciples that his love for them is so great that, that, that no matter what they do, he, can, he will never let them go. It's not only a promise. It's not only um, uh, that, that Christ would give them protection and security, but the rock symbolizes that Jesus uh, not only desires our trust, but that he trusts us too. He trusts us with the gospel. And that's why we should share it. We should give it. We should pray. We should surrender. And today I wanted to use this story like this, like this uh, house built on the rock, that we should surrender our lives to them. You see, it's kind of dangerous to build a house on top of the stone. But the only reason a house would be built on a stone is that the person who built it knows that the rock is a strong foundation and that it will never shake even when the waters and the rains would beat on the house. It talks a lot about, even if you're alone, if you build your life on Jesus, it doesn't matter how hard and how difficult your life is. It doesn't matter how mean people are to you, or if they hurt you, or if they hit you. As long as you build on the rock, you can forgive others, you can love others, and you can share the love of Jesus to others. And I pray that you would do the same, that you would devote your life in surrender and sacrifice to others. Anyways, Abigail, Isaac, and Esther, I love you. Uh, today is a beautiful Monday morning. I pray that you are being kind and gentle to mommy, and that you will obey, and I pray that you will fix your eyes on Jesus, and that you will live your life as if you are the house that's built on the rock. I love you, and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye.